Hey everybody, I'm Blitz. Welcome back to birthdays at the beginnings. Happy birthday to you thousand or so people who have a birthday today. And I hope you have a wonderful time. Let's make your birthday a little bit better. So we've got olive trees here. We've got our, whatever these are, broadleaf trees? Uh, pff, clam, clamites. And we've got the ancient human race. Look at these guys. This is kind of cool. Like, I was thinking a little bit. The humans are the only ones that create a prop like this, that they make their little cities. And the rest of the animals, I guess they don't. <laughs> that makes sense, because because animals don't make cities. I guess ants make colonies. Does that work? But yeah, it's it's really neat. We've got little we've got cavemen here right next to the ancient cities, and these cavemen that spawned in originally. Oh, there's some in the desert there. The cavemen that spawned in over here have been scared away by the T-Rex. That's not a T-Rex yet. We don't have the T-Rex, do we? We just have a regular Tyrannosaurus. What's up top here? Still nothing way up here. Eventually, uh, my goal... Ooh, let's, let's grab this little berry. Uh, my goal is to get some very fun stuff up top. I want to get the woolly mammoths and junk. Uh, woolly mammoths and, like, saber-toothed tigers, and there's a bear over there. This uh, did turn out a little better last episode. We made it a little bit deeper, if you remember that. If you didn't watch the last one, you can go check it out in the playlist that's linked right down below in the video description, too. So, uh, let's let's get, keep going. I keep wanting to push... Uh, last episode, I ended off wanting to get the Nautilus, and we tried and tried and tried to push that tree so we can keep getting the... Uh, what are they called? The turtles? The sea turtles. And we'll try to get it. We'll see if we can get some turtles in. But I wanted to put in a, a stone right over here, one of those cooling stones, because we need it colder. And let's go look at that really quick, just to see how cold we need it to go to get this Nautilus in. So we did get the Nautilus, but he died out when extinct. He's at 14 to 24 degrees, and we're currently at 34. So if I drop it, ooh, that's, okay, that's C as well. Mmm, it's not too good. So 14 to 34, if I did a 10, that'd bring us down to 13, which is too low. <laughs> Right? No, they're 23. Oh, yeah, that'd be perfect. I kind of need, like, 15 degrees. I wish I could take it down 15. Hmm. I can by using, like, the global winter thing. I don't want to do that, though. Um, let's see. It's 42 down there, because that's in the, the heat bubble thing. 42, 32. So that'd be down 20. That's in the sea. Okay, we're just going to try it. We're going to hit this thing right here with the, the cold stone. What does this do? What's the water of life do? Mysterious water that boosts the fertility of organisms when plankton reproduce. Okay. So that just uh, boosts the fertility of an individual guy. Flamestone, scorch stone. Where is it? Ice stone. We want this one right here. 10 degrees. Okay. Cools it by 10 degrees. It take us to 23. Let's do it put that in. Now we might lose some of these guys that like the hotter temperatures. Let's just see if we can get the Nautilus back. And if not, we'll switch it around. We'll put that heat stone back over there and we'll go with that. Okay, let's start time. Let it go. There we go. We got a hippopotamus. And a woggle woggle again. And something else. Okay, wait. We got three new things in. I think they're plants. Uh, we got deep sea plants. Looks like most of them are deep sea plants on the mini map we can see. Wait a minute, is that an angler fish? It is! Oh! Where did he, where did he is? <laughs> I made a little submarine sound. How am I supposed to be able to claim you, little guy? You're way up high up in the sky. You're supposed to be deeper, buddy. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure how I can claim this guy. At all. <laughs> He's way over here. Oh, I got it. There it is. Whee! The angler fishy. Nice. Fish that lives in extreme cold sea. Yeah. Merge as, uh, he's probably gonna die out. That's okay. And then there's something else right over here. Is it this guy? Nope. Oh, it's this one. Cool. That's not exactly what I wanted to do, but I'll give him that anyway. Come here. I guess we'll try to evolve him. Saltwater fish, cooler water temperatures. See that length. Alright, and let's check out uh, this mode just in case there's somebody else on the screen. Nothing else. I thought we got like three things in, but I guess we didn't. So a lot of stuff is starting to die out because it's too cold again. Man, I don't I don't wanna lose I don't wanna lose our Okay, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. I gotta I gotta get the Nautilus back, so let's try to evolve him again. Okay. So I gotta hit you, little fella. I gotta hit you with the Nautilus shard. 
That seems like something interesting from a video game. The Nautilus Shard. Um, where is it? Okay, seed evolution. Hit you with that. I only have two of these left. It's kind of expensive. Now we're gonna take a slow mode here for a little bit. Just start time. Need our Nautilus back. There it is. Now we gotta find the Nautilus. Ah, my cold water thing is gone now. Weird. I'm gonna raise this area up a little bit. Um, and I'll put that shard back in. Oh, that's still uh, shallows now. 31 degree shallows. Okay, let's hit that with that that thing again. I don't know what happened to it. The stone is gone. Chill stone. So the question is, we have this Nautilus, right? And the Nautilus doesn't like this area. Um, we have we have a spot for him to live. Nautilus should be able to live because we have the temperatures of 14 to 24 in the sea. I thought we did anyway. We have it in the shallows? No, we should have it in the sea, but it doesn't go over there. And it adapts to 34 degrees, but these other things are not around. Like, we, we can't have these anymore. So, uh, I do care. I do want to push down in here. Um, so, this one, the cephalopod, has come off the Nautilus. So, we're going to try to get this little squid. I'm also wondering if we can hit him with the rainbow. Uh, hit the Nautilus with the rainbow just for a little bit. So, we're going to try that. Because uh, if you remember, the rainbow is an item that we can use that stops them from dying. This might actually kill something else. Um, it protects them from the environments, but renders them sterile. So they won't continue reproducing. Uh, but that's kind of okay. I don't know. Let's actually, let's first see if he'll die out again. Because the water is fine. It's 32 degrees. But this is a shallow sea. He's supposed to be in the sea, I think. And it, he, should be, he should be fine. So we're just going to keep an eye on it. And we're going to mark that one. So let's go back. Let's see if the Nautilus dies out again. And if you do, then I don't know what to do. That wasn't the Nautilus. Hey, we got two new things. Whoa, 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 whoa. A whole buttload of stuff just went extinct. Wow. Okay, Erathia, Calunia, Pika extinct. Plesiosaurus went on the way of extinction. Aw. Wow. Like everything that was in that hot area. Just went extinct. Yikes! Did we we did actually get some stuff in here though? There are three new animals. Something right in here. Is that the new duck? No, what is that? That is a duck on the surface. There is something right in here. Is a new fish? New something? A little bit difficult to see all the time with all this junk in here, especially I think it's right here. Nope. Let's go see what these are anyway. Ah. Okay, this is a new school of fish. Marinera. It's been birthed. Okay. New fish breed. Another new fish. Oh, this is a plant. And a new coral. Cold tempt coral. And I think this is a new dragonfly, actually. Yeah, it is. Okay. Oh, come back here, dragonfly. And the dragonfly, um, uh, shallows water. Okay. So that might have been a bad idea. Man, these guys don't like our cold water, do they? Let's go see what the plesiosaurus likes again. I think it was a warmer water. And then Nessie liked the colder water. You guys wanted me to get Nessie back, but I don't want to use the seed on her. And I wanted to see if the Nautilus is still over here, if it went extinct. I don't see it. The Nautilus might have went extinct again. Ah! Population zero, so the Nautilus did go extinct. I don't know why. It's sea with a temperature of 14 to 24 degrees. We have that. Maybe we don't. I thought that's what I used this seed for. This is shallows. Okay. Uh, that should be fine if we drop this down. And we'll drop that. Okay. And we'll drop that. So that's 22. The Nautilus should live. Kitty just walked in the room too. Hi Kitty. Okay, we're gonna try again. Nautilus is back. I'm gonna I'm gonna go freeze that Nautilus just so he, he won't go anywhere. Oh, I wonder if it's gonna be in that same spot. No, now I gotta go play it. It's like trying to find the Nautilus in the ocean. Really difficult thing to find. So that Nautilus is right here. Let's try to freeze it. Um, I'm gonna hit him. I'm going to with the seed first, so we can get the next tier. And then we're going to freeze him with the rainbow. And that might, we might lose our Brachiosaurus friend with that. Ooh, okay. 
Now let's see if this will work. Because he's supposed to be down in the cool seas, but he can't seem to find his way over there. So we'll just see if we can get out of here. And if we fast forward time a little bit, let's just go through it. Okay, so we got we got the something else. That's probably that squid guy. It's whatever it is, it's down deep in the water. Uh, uh, <laughs> I can never find anything in this game anymore. It's down even deep. Oh, there it is. Whatever that is right here. Hey, where were you? There it is. Okay, so we did get the squid thing. Oh, I can't get him. Hey. There, I got it. So this guy is uh, adaptation. Okay, so he'll be fine. Cephalopod with eight arms and two tentacles. We got squids. So I think we did all right because we jumped. Now this one doesn't seem to have any problems. Uh, so the Nautilus propagated. So these guys should be able to go on its own. Just need some cold, deep water. And then we can get the Kraken and other things in here. There's a big sharks and junk. So I'm excited for these. Um, those are going to be super rare. But we have to now... What was this about? Oh, it's just cold sea. Yeah, that should come around pretty good. I wanted to get back to the turtles. See if we can get the shallows. 17 to 27 degree shallows. And we have to have the Nautilus. Uh, appeared after the extinction of the proto something. What about this one? This one easier to get? Deep sea. Wow, super hot deep sea. Look at that. 34 to 44. Um, okay, we'll try to get that one. Uh, we'll try to get that one, and then we can use the seed of mutation to get this guy. So let's get a 34 to 44 degree deep sea. It's not actually going to be that hard. Okay, so I'm going to put a I'm going to put a stone right here. Let's open this up. We're going to go to a heat stone. We just need a one. 34 to 44. Okay, we'll put that in right there. That's going to warm up stuff up top. And this is this is too warm. 33 to 44. I did the wrong stone. Okay, that'll work. Let's actually put it right here instead. Give me some more deep water heat. Good. Oh, the Gigio Branto just went extinct. I knew he would. It's too cold for him. Oh well. I feel like I'm really trying to push right now. Trying to get these high-end things in the game. Plesiosaurus is ready to go extinct. So this is interesting to get this. Turtles that swim freely even in cool waters. It appeared after the extinction of the Protostega. Right? And he frees out a Nautilus. Well, this is the Protostega. So if we kill this guy off, and there's 37,000 of them, uh, if we kill him off, then this guy should spawn, right? Period after the extinction of the Protostega. As long as we have the right temperatures. So I guess we'll go find the sea turtles and make them go the way of the dinosaur. Well, not really, because we have dinosaurs actively going. So there is an item that we can just kill off a whole species. So I hate to do it. But we're gonna have to kill the protostega. I don't remember what the the word or the thing is. There it is. Water of extinction. Where'd he go? Turtle tried to swim away from me. Don't you doesn't doesn't he know that I'm supposed to kill him? There he is right here. So this kills an entire organism. Whew. All right, let's hope I'm right. Goodbye, turtles. Goodbye, turtles. Goodbye. And now we should get the protostega or the. The non protostega. Yeah, he's gone. And now I'm guessing I messed something else up. I bet I did. I bet I messed up that we don't have enough of the Nautilus in the game. Because they probably need like 100,000 Nautilus in, in order for the, the next turtle to spawn. Shoot! Well, I gotta do that now. So the good news about the Nautilus is that he eats the, uh, the Clupia, which are these fish. So that's the saltwater fish. We got nine million of those. So if we can get a good, you know, I don't know. Am I gonna be able to get this guy back? Because I put on that rainbow thing on him, didn't I? I think I did. So he's not gonna breed. I wonder if I hit him with the breeding thing. And, oh, I could, I could put the rainbow thing on something else and that would take him off him. But it takes, it adapts to up to 34 degrees temperature in the sea. But the problem is the ding dong, go away. Get out of that menu. Get out of here. He keeps chilling over here, and this isn't even the sea. <laughs> I don't know. He goes up to 34 degrees, and he's in the shallow. So I think I'm going to try to make his house a little bit better here. Just try to make a, a proper biome for him by leveling it out some. I guess if he won't migrate to the sea, I'm going to take him to the sea. And then he can live in the sea by the sea all on his own. So that might work. Uh, he does have plenty of fish to eat. So I think he should live. So I'm going to put on... 
Um, let's use it on the Plesiosaurus if there's still any left. It might have gone extinct. Are you over here? Oh, you're still over here, so we're gonna hit you. With the rainbow. So now the Plesi should, or the, the Nautilus should propagate, because he's in the right stuff. I don't know, it might work. We'll see. Because he, he's in the right biome now, he's in the right temperature. He's up here, so that should work. See, 32 degrees, he goes up to 34, and there's plenty of food, because there's like a fish swimming right there. So this will work. Or you know, the game might entirely hate me too, and uh, not let this happen. Hey, 6,000 Nautilus, that's good. We got a lot of other stuff dying though. 47,000 Nautilus, so that was it. It just wasn't going in the right biome. There we go, Marine Turtle. Ooh, I think two things just spawned in. So the marine turtle, uh, oh, there are two things down here. Two different ones. Looks like a deep sea fish, too. Noise. Okay, marine turtle. You're the one my heart desired since the beginning. Where art thou? There you is. So all it took was the right temperature here. Oh, it's not nearly as cool looking, but I like him. And what do we have down here? This looks like something else cool. Oh, just a, oh, that does look cool. A red one. Ooh. Due to high propagation, a differentiated... Uh, deep sea habitat eventually emerged. Whatever, I don't know what that word is. Mega... I can't talk. <laughs> All these words, man, they're confusing. Wish they would use normal people words. And now we have land turtles. Land ho! And these are a different sea turtle, too. Leatherback. Oh, leatherback! Sardina, that must be a fish. Pilocardus. So let's see if we can find the sardines up here. There it is, sardine Plocodarus. Nice, we got plenty of those to get the leather back. That's a giant turtle, if I've ever known what a giant turtle is. I really want to get that one. So a 14 to 20 degree C. And these are land, so 15 to 21 degree land. Uh, feeds on phlegm, cool grassy plains. So I think this might actually be good. 14 to 20 degrees, 15 to 21 for the birth temps. I might be able to do that way over here. So we're not in the seas, we're in shallows, and this is grassy plains. Is this the sea? This might be the sea, and that's hot. Okay, so I'm gonna flatten some of this out. So I'm gonna drop this temperature 20 degrees. This might work. If nothing else, we're on the edge of the map, so it doesn't matter too much. I'm just gonna pop that in, drop it. That's 15 on land. I think that's right. 15 on land and in the water is 14. So let's check one more time. So land or the water needs to be 14 or higher, and it has to be a C. So that's the only one I could place it, and the land has to be 15. So the land is 15. Okay, land is 15 and water is 14. If I could raise the global temperature a degree. That might help, but that's when you get into scary situations. So, we're going to try it. Let's go back. Both of these should spawn. Ugh. I hate doing this, though. Oh! What is that? Okay, something died. I need to know what spawned in, though. That thing might have died already. Nope, there's something new over here in the corner. Scombrini. Sounds like a really, really good food. Gotta take a big old bowl of scombrini right now. Is it these fish? It is. Saltwater mackerel. That doesn't really sound that bad at all. I would eat that. Yikes, things are dying. I don't know if I like this. Trying to push through these top tier things are kind of difficult. So that turtle did not want to spawn in. Uh, used up a lot of time. I think I'm just gonna try to get that marine turtle and use one of the seeds on it. Seed of mutation, I think it is. All right, there's the turtle. Let's evolve him. We only have one more seed evolution left right now. All right, see what happens. We're gonna get something out of the deal. We're gonna close it, we go back to the main screen, and we're just gonna go slowly start time. Come on, there we go. Oh, I think that's the land turtle. Was that the land turtle? Where did it spawn in at? Oh, way up in the corner. What's way up there? Yeah, we got the land turtle way up top. Wow, I was not expecting it way up here. It should actually live up here. It's kind of cool. And a land turtle, herbiv herb herb herbivorous, herbivorous, or shelled reptile tortoise, slowly walks on four legs through cool grassy plains. Okay, now if I hit you with one of these, you're gonna give me the leatherback, the leatherback tortuga, hopefully. 
because you're on the same tree, so if I start time. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. You can do it, Turtle Man. There it goes. Nope, that wasn't it. Or maybe why right there. That's too cold. <laughs> it's too cold for our turtle. Shoot. Let's oh, it needs a C too. So maybe let's spread this open a little bit more. And we'll try dropping it down some. Here. Do this. Let's make a bigger little biome. A bigger little biome? That doesn't make sense. I can't get it. I can't get it. Oh no, that's the wrong button. I can't get it into the zone that this turtle needs without dropping. So I can drop the map by five or fifteen degrees. Ah. I don't know what to do. Like I want to get that leather neck, leather back, but I just don't know how right now. Cause this is deep sea. We can't have deep sea. We have to have regular sea. So I'm gonna bring you up. See, there's the end of the sea. Is 21 deg or it'd be 31 degrees if I remove this stone. If I just put a regular chill stone in, that brings it to 10, which might work better. So that's the 21. I can't go down anymore. I could drop them. Uh, let's drop. Because the, the map temperature is kind of high too. Let's try to drop that up down. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Try to drop that down some. I'll just let time roll. I really want this turtle. Uh, I don't think that's it. We got a couple things in. I don't know what they were. Okay, there's a lot of things over here. There's three new items over here. It might, might, we might get the leatherback. We might get the leatherback turtle. If we do, that is awesome. Because these things are gigantic. Oh, there, there's plants here. That's not what I wanted. Cold plant. Seaweed spread to land. Okay. And, oh, there it is! Is this it? Is this it? That didn't take long. Just had to get the temperature right. Imagine that. The Nautilus has spread over here, too. Yeah, the leatherback sea turtle. The giant, giant leatherback. Wait, that is it. Okay. That's cool. I like him. He looks cute, doesn't he? Kind of just want to fast forward time and see what happens right now. I don't really know what else to do in this video, because that was kind of the, I mean, we, tur we totally turtled out the turtle species. And now that really leaves us open to doing a lot more in the future. Um, man. Feels like it's stable, too. Everything's kind of in a good spot right now. Man, this is a really good thing. Uh, give me some suggestions on what you guys want to see in the next video. I'm thinking, because we can go down these different trees, too. We have the library. We didn't really get too much done. My goal, the, the one I really want to go down, is this tree. So we can get uh, the Kraken and stuff down here. This is going to be pretty difficult. Uh, actually, maybe not. Deep Sea 3 to thir 3 to 11. Uh, this should be pretty good. Uh, should be pretty easy to get that one, especially since we can just drop it all the way down. Uh, and then the, the next ones. Man, Giant Squid. <laughs> As Santa Claus, Santa Claus, whatever those things are. Wide, flat regions of the Deep Sea. And then these things are going to be really difficult. Neptune Shark. Man, oh. So it emerged at the same time as Art, whatever Art it took off this is. Shoot, I can't even pronounce these things. And then we got the Rex. We might try to do the regular Rexes too. So let me know down below. We could also do some of the mammals. That'd be fun to do. I don't know. <laughs> There's just so much to do. There's so many different things. We still have this guy to go after. We probably need to get him. Hyaterodon, we got the Birds of Prey. And there was like this whole tree that we didn't do anything on the tigers and the elephants. We should get this one maybe next. I don't know. But that is going to do it for today. Give me your suggestions on what you want to see next. We also need a place down that UFO somewhere. So, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, keep your stick on the ice. Uh, yeah, if you enjoyed, let me know down below. And keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time.